was previously married to Bruce Willis for 13 years, and they have three daughters. Kutcher tweeted, quote, I will forever cherish the time I spent with Demi. Marriage is one of the most difficult things in the world, and unfortunately, sometimes they fail. Love and light, AK. Marriage and family therapist Dr. Sherry Myers joins us right now to talk about this. Um, one thing that we could glean from his tweet is that marriages are, in fact, very difficult, whether you're a Hollywood couple or a regular couple. This is true, especially in this day and age, because we are so distracted. We are pulled by so much. The world is moving faster than ever. And so to stay connected, to hold on to what we value and not get pulled here and pulled there, is really difficult these days. Now, we had heard about this for quite a while, mm -hmm. um, but there was nothing official until today. When you saw them together in recent months, could you detect any sense that, in fact, what the headlines were screaming was true? It depended on the shot, because our body language speaks 90% of the real picture. And depending on the angle, sometimes to me looked very uptight. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it looks very posed. So it, it, they were struggling. Uh, there were allegations of cheating. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, an allegation of a young lady, I think in her early 20s in San Diego, mm -hmm. who he may have had some sort of dalliance with. Uh, does it boil down to just one instance of cheating usually? Usually not. Usually it's kind of like roaches. <laughs> you see one, but there's a whole bunch others hiding. You know, he, he was a kid. Mm -hmm. when he got married. They met when he was 25. He didn't have a lot of experience and he jumped in to a marriage that already has three children. And that's difficult. It's difficult enough to start fresh mm -hmm. and build together. When you're jumping into a family already and you're trying to create a union, that's even harder. Okay, you mentioned the age difference here. Uh, there was a 16-year age difference. So even mm -hmm. excluding the children um, and, and everything else that came with that, there was a 16-year age difference. Yes. Does that work? Well, obviously not. But we were hoping because they were defying the odds. And somehow they were seeming to make it work. And for a while they did. For a while they did, but a good marriage takes time and attention. It takes continual checking in and responding and connecting. And when you lead two very busy lives, sometimes that's hard to do. What can people who are not Hollywood couples really take away from this in terms of, um, let's say they're going through some of the same sort of issues right now? Watch for the emotional separation because when there's an emotional separation, the heart lights go out. And you get so busy, even if it's for good stuff, even if it's for getting really busy with the kids and getting involved, you need to hold hands and remain a partnership because it's all a romance, marriage, partnership feeds on attention, acknowledgement, appreciation. If there is cheating in a marriage, Mm -hmm. um, by either side. Does that usually lead to divorce? It doesn't have to. In fact, it can make a marriage stronger. As controversial as that sounds, I truly believe that it can be a door that opens to a deeper partnership if both decide we really want partnership and we want to make it work. And underneath all of this chaos and all of this disaster, there's really a seed here to grow again. She was the one who made the announcement to the Associated Press today. Mm -hmm. uh, presumably, she's the one who's filing for divorce. Is this a way of her sort of saving face in all of this? Absolutely. Because betrayal is really hard. And I'm not exactly sure if she found out through the press or he came forth and told her privately. But the public also knows. And it's it's feels so abandoning and betraying when your partner cheats on you. And then for the whole world to know, that makes it even harder. Could there be fallout for him from this? I mean, when there is, uh, when there is a couple and one of them cheats and their friends find out, is there fallout for that couple usually? Um, for some couples, yes. 
I'm not sure if there will be such fallout. One thing, look at the role he's playing on TV now. It almost fits. The cheating happened exactly at the time where he stepped into this role of the bad boy mm -hmm. and taking over for Charlie Sheen. And I thought it was a publicity stunt at first myself. The fact that it's real, it, it's almost like it's not a surprise. Hmm. It's not a surprise. If they had so much going for them, but they also had so much going against them. And I think they really wanted to defy all the odds, but the odds got them. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank Certainly you. Certainly appreciate it.